Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft Intune and in this video we are going to talk about Windows Device Enrollment and the method which we will be covering will be BYOD. Now if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about overview of Intune MDM whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how exactly device enrollment works, how to enable automatic enrollment and how to enable hello for business from Intune. Now when it comes to choosing portal I would highly recommend you to choose the new portal which is the endpoint manager portal which can be accessed from endpoint.microsoft.com because the current experience of Intune from portal.azure.com is getting retired this year. Now how I can say that because if you'll go to portal.azure.com and if you'll go to the Intune section, this is the first message that you get. So it will be highly recommended to do all the configuration from the new portal, which is endpoint.microsoft.com. Now, before you go ahead and do all the configuration, which is moreover related to Intune, make sure you have the appropriate license. So to check the license, just go to Azure Active Directory and then click on licenses. For this demo, all my users have EMS E5 licensed assigned and that does include Microsoft Intune. Now, the reason behind covering this point is that let's say you have done all the configuration and the user is trying to enroll the device. If the user doesn't have the license assigned, then the enrollment will fail. So as you can see, EMS E5 does include Microsoft Intune and this is something which has been assigned to all of my users. Now the next step is to enable Windows device enrollment and for that what you have to do is you have to click on devices on this new portal which is endpoint.microsoft.com and then click on Windows. As you can see the first option here says Windows enrollment. I'm clicking on that and this is the first option which you can just enable and if the user has the license the enrollment will be completed as expected. Now the moment I will click on this I will be redirected to the MDM and MAM section of Azure AD which allows you to scope users. So as you can see right now in my case I have already scoped all the users. That means any user who tries to register the device, he or she will be able to register the device. Now let's say you want to enable this feature for a specific group of users, then you can click on some and then select those specific groups. I'll close this because it is already scoped for all the users in my case or for this particular tenant. The next option that you see here is Windows Hello for Business. Now Windows Hello for Business in a very short brief introduction is the capability wherein a single factor authentication gets converted into a multi-factor authentication because this allows the user to set up a pin on the device. Now this is a very big topic altogether for which it requires a different video altogether but as of now just remember or just keep this in mind that for Intune enrollment, you can enable Windows Hello for Business. And as you can see, as of now, I have set it to enabled. Now, when you will scroll down, these are the settings which are specifically related to Windows Hello for Business, wherein it covers the pin length, maximum pin size, uppercase, lowercase, whatever customization you want to do, you can do it here. But the most important one is whether you want the required device or whether you want the device which is getting enrolled to have TPM or not. So as of now, in my case, I have enabled Windows Hello for Business. So the expected behavior is when the user will try to enroll the device, they will be prompted to set up Windows Hello for Business. Now this option which you see here, which is CNAME validation, there is a CNAME record that should exist for all of your domains and that should point to enterprise enrollment s.manage.microsoft.com. This is something which falls under the category of prerequisites, but this was mostly used by the down level devices. In Windows 10, it has the capability to automatically reach to these endpoints. I will be sharing this article in the description section. If you guys want, you can review it. So once you have added 
the CNAME record, you can just type your domain name here and then click on test. This will verify whether the appropriate CNAME record exists for a specific domain or not. Now, this option that you see here, which is enrollment status page, this is moreover related to the experience which a user gets with Windows Autopilot. So when we will talk about Windows Autopilot, I will cover these three options and this option as well. From a very basic configuration perspective, just to know how device enrollment works, this is enough. All you need to make sure that you have the license assigned to the user as well as user has been scoped from this section of automatic enrollment. Now, if I use a user object to register a Windows 10 device, I will be able to register the device. Now, there is one more thing which I would like to highlight here, and that is whenever a user is choosing BYOD method to enroll the device, they are basically Azure AD joining their devices. Now, what does that mean? That there will be a device object that will be created in Azure Active Directory, which you can view from this device options. Now, if you guys remember in the last video, we were discussing about a table wherein I have mentioned that if your user is choosing a BYOD method, in that case, the user object gets associated with the device object and the user is also shown as the owner of that particular device. So this is just an example which I'm showing you guys right now and this will be the entry point of our next video. So in the next video, I will show you how to enroll a Windows device in Intune. Whereas a quick summary about this particular video, we have covered the basics which you need to know about device enrollment and how to enable automatic enrollment as well as Windows Hello for Business. So if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. If you think that my channel is helping you to learn new technologies, please feel free to share this with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.